morning or afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. I've just um, just done a video on uh, just a quick video really to put some people's minds at risk about the oil level on that XS 650. So uh, you could just jump straight into that really. Morning all. Got some uh, confusion um, that I've heard about on the uh, the oil level of the XS650, and uh, what I'm gonna do, I'll show you the two different dipsticks: the pre-75 and the post-75 dipsticks. The Yamaha changed the quantity of the oil level after 75 or 75 and after due to a lot of um, misting and blowback through the breather pipes so let me show you here are the two dipsticks the bottom ones the the original old one the, the one that pre-75 one and the top one is the post-75 one and if you look on the the high level mark on the post uh, pre-75 is higher than the post-75 so they changed the quantity of the oils in the XX, this, XS650 and the dotted line the dotted line represents is, is where the oil level should be when you fill it up between the two lines not at the high mark it, it, it should go between the two lines so your, so your oil level is halfway between the lines so on the on the post 75, in, in fact all the bikes now, all the, all the excesses really should be using this one, which is uh, I mean you can imagine if you still got the old pre 75 um, dipstick and you filled it up to the top mark where you think is 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 the right level, it's that's way over way over the mark for the uh, what the bike should be using. And the measurement, limit of five and a half inches. The top, if you still got the old one, if you measure, measure down from the bottom of the, uh, or where the dips, dips it starts, or the metal, the, the shaft of the dips it starts, to the high level mark, it should be five and a half inches, as it's shown in the in the post one, five and a half inches. So, if you've got the old dipstick, get your get your tape out, measure it, and see if you see if you've got the right amount of oil in it. So there's your two there's your two dipsticks. Now I've been using this one in the uh, in the bike could have in the in the SF the 650 SF, and I think my oil level is 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 too high because I've been. Let me show you. I'll, I'll put the boy. I'll put the camera on the stand, and I'll show you what I mean. All right. So we use the the pre seventy five dipstick, as you, as you can see. We put that in, and to measure the oil, don't screw it in. Just only put it in till it stops, and then put it out. And you see, on mine, is on that on that high level mark. Okay, make sure. Yeah, it's on the on the high level mark. There's much too oil, too much too much oil in there. Let me get the old one, the new one through. And this is the post, the plastic one, the post seventy five. And if we check the oil with this one, we're going to be shocked because <laughs> it's over, it's over the. It's going over the high mark and we want it around about here. So I'm going to have to um, drain a little bit of oil off to get that down to the right level. I'll show you how much I've taken out of this in a minute once it's uh, once we've got the right level. It's slow getting it out with this little tiny tube there. So, so far 
so far I've taken that much oil out of it so it's got to go and empty this because there's still a little bit more that needs to come out of there I'll be back in a sec here is my uh, using a uh, brake bleeder into a, into a jar to suck the oil out to save having to take the, uh, the drain plug and everything out halfway between the two lines so you've got the two lines there it's just just slightly below the halfway I think and that's good enough for me that'll do me that's more or less between the two, between the two, uh, the, the high and low marks. So that's how much oil should be in there. And let me leave the new dipstick in this one. Yeah, so there you go. So that's how you check the oil with the uh, the old and new dipsticks. show you how much oil I've taken out of this in just a second yeah that's how much I've taken out because I went to the measurements using the old dipstick and using it to the full level on the old dipstick that's how much extra oil that I had in there that shouldn't have been in there so now I've um, used the new dipstick with the, with the correct measurements uh, filling it up halfway in them lines it, the, the bike's got enough oil in it so Basically that's too much oil I had in there. I'm going to have to go and check all the others now. Just to make sure which dipsticks I've got on the other bikes. I'm not sure if you can actually uh, see that, but the oil level in there, in the sight glass, is about halfway. Should be able to see that I think. It's just fresh and below halfway on the, on the sight glass. And if we... Uh, Check the dipstick. I think this might turn the camera off. I'll be set back in a second and I'll take the dipstick out. Right, so the dipstick reading. It's just over half. So the dipstick reading on on the uh, on the new dipstick is just over half. So just below half on the oil glass on on the um, the sight glass is just over half on the dipstick. So you don't want to fill the uh, if you've got the sight glass, don't fill it right up to the top. Just fill it so it just just about reaches halfway, and you should be good to go. That's the, uh, the difference in the uh, sight glass and the uh, dipstick. So when you fill your bike up now, fill out with two litres, not, not two and a half, ignore what it says on the top there. You only want two litres in there to start with. And then um, once you've uh, rode it around for a couple of miles, whatever, or Move, add it running for a little bit and let it stand and then again check your, your oil level either through the sight glass or the dipstick like I say you only want it half filled on the on the uh, oil level on the sight glass nothing more than that and you'll be good to go away with a mixer and uh, always check your oil 
on the centre stand or service stand there it's supposed to be called really and the reason they're called a service stand is so that you use that stand when you change your oil and all that kind of rubbish yeah so the chop in fact when I filled the chop up that I ain't got a, a, side, a centre stand on that so it was like leaning over to one side and also the engine tilts back slightly so my um, I think I, I think I might have, yeah, it might have been on the um, on the bike stand when I filled that up, so it was, it was a bit more level. But checking it now, there's way too much oil in it. Using the proper dick, you know, the proper the later dipstick rather than the old dipstick. So just emptying all the excess oil out of that, and that's good to go as well. Seems to be a common mistake. Even I made the mistake. Don't mind admitting it, but by just reading that and then chucking two and a half litres of oil in it when it should only have two. Uh, two and a half's alright, I mean it won't do it any harm. But, uh, just get a lot less blowback on your on your uh, breather pipes. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.